on, this class we will continuously study cupping methods. Cupping is a therapy in which a gel is attached to the skin surface to cause local congestion through the negative pressure created by heat produced by ignited material in the jar. There are a great variety of jars, but the commonly used ones are bamboo jars, glass jars, and pottery jars. The latter two are more powerful in suction. Firstly, we will study the manipulations of cupping. A cotton ball with 95% alcohol held by forceps is ignited. Put it into the cup. Move inside the cup for one circle and then take out. When the burning cot ball is taken out, the cup is immediately covered on the selected region. This method is called fine flashing method. All ignited elk cotton ball or a piece of burning paper is thrown into the cup. The cup is immediately covered on the selected region. Usually, the cup is sucked in place for about 10 minutes. For the withdrawal of the cup, the skin around the rim of the cup is pressed with the index finger to let air in. Then, the cup is removed slowly. In addition, cupping may be used together with acupuncture. Secondly, method. During the retention of the needle, a cup is sucked over the needling area. The needle is withdrawn when the cup is removed. Or a three-edged needle is used to prick for blood letting, and then a cup is sucked over the pricked area for strengthening the curative effect. Thirdly, indications. This method is often used to treat wind dampness syndrome, obstructive syndrome, numbness of the limbs, acute spring, common cold, cough, stomachache, abdominal pain, diarrhea, and some external diseases. Fourthly, we will study the causes of cupping. First, it should not be used in patients with higher fever and convulsion, edema, as well as areas with large blood vessels, allergic skin or skin ulcer, and the abdominal and lumbar sacral regions of the gravid. Secondly, cares should be taken to avoid burning or searching the skin. Retention of the cup should not be too long, lest impairment of the skin be caused. Thirdly, if the local congestion is severe after the removal of the cup, it is forbidden to perform cupping on the region again. In this class, we mainly studied the cupping therapy, including manipulations, indications, and cautions. I hope everyone can grasp them carefully after class. See you later.